The owner of several local restaurants here in Cleveland is charged with rape and attempted murder. He is being held on a $200,000 bond. Bobby George surrendered to police this morning. Our Stacey Fry has more. Bobby George turned himself into the Justice Center this morning. He appeared by video call before a Cleveland municipal judge in court this morning. He's facing accusations of rape, kidnapping, and attempted murder. Those accusations coming from a girlfriend with whom he shared a home. Now, some of the details are quite disturbing. The judge, after hearing them, set a $200,000 bond agreed to a protection order for the alleged victim here and also told Mr. George he had to hand over his passport. Now, according to what the woman told police, George pinned her to the ground on one occasion with his hands around her neck, suffocating her, then picked her up, slamming her into a table multiple times until she couldn't see straight and she was bleeding from her ears, later diagnosed with post-concussion syndrome. Bobby George owns Town Hall, Barley House, and Revel on Public Square, among other restaurants, businesses, and real estate. He recently caused controversy when he refused to air the pair Olympics at any of his restaurants, claiming the opening ceremonies were insulting to Christians. The woman who is unnamed in the arrest warrant says that on one occasion, the 43 year old restaurant owner followed her out to her car, demanding she get out while holding a gun to the window, then pressing that gun to her stomach while he took her back inside. She says in early June, he attacked her again, shoving a towel down her throat, saying you think God is going to help you while she prayed in the closet. She says another time he threw her to the ground and raped her. George's attorney released a statement saying to the Fox 8i team that his client denies the charges 100%. Again, restaurateur Bobby George in court this morning over video call and facing charges of rape, kidnapping, attempted murder. The judge set bond at $200,000 ordered a protection order be put in place and also that Mr. George hand over his passport. In Cleveland, I'm Stacey Fry, Fox 8 News.